Hey guys, uh, my name is Casey Vitali. I'm the owner at Northwest Hobbies in Albany, Oregon, and this is our play box. Hey there, RC Girl here. We are on the hobby shop tour in the state of Oregon. Today, we are spending the evening at Northwest Hobbies. They took over a Sears warehouse and turned it into a massive RC hobby center with two carpet off-road tracks, an oval track, a drift course, a crawler course, and more. Let's check it out. We're traveling up to the state of Oregon and we're going to be visiting six shops in four days. We're gonna be visiting shops big and small. My goal with this tour is to highlight the value of visiting your local hobby shop, keeping the hobby alive. If you missed my previous videos in this series, I just came from Superior RC and RC Plus. Make sure to subscribe if you guys don't wanna miss future videos in this series. All right, guys, we are headed to the third stop on the tour. We're headed to Northwest Hobbies in Albany, Oregon. It looks like Northwest Hobbies has an indoor drift course, also a carpet track and a crawler course. So, all right, let's go check out Northwest Hobbies. Here we go. A truck in my hand. <laughs> there we are. Hey guys, uh, my name is Casey Vitali. I'm the owner at Northwest Hobbies in Albany, Oregon. Yeah. It's huge. This is crazy. Yeah, we got a total of 96,000 square feet in total. Uh, we use about 67,000 square feet of RC. Um, the remaining is actually our UTV shop and our small engine shop in the back where we build uh, everything from performance, full-blown race car side-by-sides to dirt bikes, quads, and simple light bar installs on up on that side too. So the fun stuff. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Definitely, cool. uh, you know, tent scale and then full scale. We do it all here. So how long have you guys been around? Uh, it'll be a 12 years this October, so oh, a little awesome. over 11. All right, let's show me around. I'd love to see the Yeah, place. definitely. So this track here, uh, we call this our test track. We don't ever hold races on this track. This is strictly just for anybody that wants to come in and just play. Uh, we do change it up. Uh, sometimes it's a, a race track, sometimes it's a play track. Um, right now we set it up with just a couple real simple jumps. We have a whole bunch of new people that have been coming in and running. I am Crystal and I'm from here. How often do you guys come out here? Almost every day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> for parts. Specifically, <laughs> that's super cool. Uh, you know how hard it is to find pink stuff. Um, that's my Christmas present. <laughs> it, it, it was really hard to source all those parts from multiple locations. Oh, man. So you got to back off the throttle and, and steer the throttle. It's a big jump. Nice. So uh, wrestler, that's a newer one. It's got. CSM and um, I just did a pro graphics body in a G aluminum. This, this is cool. So there's a story behind this. My brother got this um, at a yard sale. Just the chassis for like 10 bucks. And this is the RC10T. I just went put brush stuff back in it. And then I found this kind of vintage and well-loved body on eBay, which I thought Love was it. fitting. Whoever owned the body was named Tim Bright. <laughs> It's something we do with the kids, really. Uh, we have five kids, and all of them have RC cars. nothing less. And we actually just moved our drift course over to here a few months back. It used to be on P-Tile. Um, we had a, a friend of mine come in and cut all the concrete and redo this whole section here, surface it, and then uh, Adam Ma came in and sealed it all up. Basically done off of donations. Um, there, we have a, a local crawler, or a local drift crew that comes in and they really enjoy the aspect of the build. So they came and 3D printed all the islands. They they basically take care of this section. They do a fantastic job with it. All right, who do we have here? Mitch, gonna talk about a little bit of um, RC drifting. I'm new, I've only been drifting for about a year. Okay. Wanna be able to throw the car into the, the transaction of what you want and be able to try to hold it there as much as possible. And try to get most points right. as you can. And how do you get points? Drift style. Back over to this side here. Uh, this is our on-road slash oval track. Um, right now it's oval going on. 
Um, we switch this around uh, depending on the week or what we're doing at the time. Uh, it's the CRC black carpet. We get a great following for our oval program here. Um. Northwest Hobbies was hosting a oval race while I was there. My first time checking out this type of race format. Very cool. One of the guys I met at Superior RC previously was also here tonight racing oval. Yeah, and we got a uh, crawler land over here. We call it uh, the mall crawlers. So this is our 10 scale course. Um, it's class two and above. We are building a class one course as well. Northwest Hobbies 110 scale crawler course was super sick. Tons of really cool features, two stories, really, really challenging actually. Also really great to see other women out there enjoying the hobby. This lady had her comp stance going on with her really cool power wagon here. I also met a brother and sister whose dad brought them out. I believe he's watched some of my videos. I let them drive my Traxxas T-Rex 4, F-150 High Trail, and my Element Enduro Ecto. They were so careful with them, had a ton of fun driving them, and it was really fun to watch. All right, moving along. Yeah, it's heading into our hobby shop here. Um, we are a full online store as well. We have a warehouse in the back that has uh, back stock on inventory and stuff. We carry most all the popular brands. A little bit of everything, everything from drag racing to drifting and, you know, like Hi, Casey. <laughs> Uh, we are getting into, since we are in the mall, we are getting into an apparel side of things too. So we've now brought in Alpenstar, Fox, uh, Moto Life, <laughs> okay. uh, Fly 100%. So back here in this area here, we call this our Pro Track. We don't let any play cars run back here. This is strictly race cars only. Nothing that's not a race-based car can run on these courses. Um, we have a 125 by 48 foot off-road track over here, which uh, is definitely one of the larger ones in the country. Uh, this last year we held the, the J-Concept NCTS 4 uh, Northwest Carpet Nationals, as well as we were the first carpet track to have a lower carpet offer nationals this okay. year, too. Yeah, we have uh, 360 physical pit spots, so Jeez. we can hold any kind of event you can want. 212 pit spots in the pro track, uh, remaining are over on the drift course and our test track side. But for the big race events, people kind of spread out through the whole facility. Cool. You know, we have a full clean room for doing motor builds. Um, we do powder coating in house, um, basically anything that you would need for a power sports base. We just do it right in house. We have a full fab shop. We have a wood shop to make all our jumps and stuff for the track. Um, we have another bay over on that side that we keep our race trailers and stuff in. That way, um, when we get ready to go to an event, we're just prepped and ready to go. And we don't physically have to, you know, build everything out, reprep, and then go. We're, trailer just stays prepped, ready to go at all times. So. Yeah, limitlessutv.com and then northwesthobbies.com are the two online stores. Huge thank you to Casey and the team for showing me around and hosting me at Northwest Hobbies. And while I was at Northwest Hobbies, I was approached by a couple. They just started their YouTube channel, Crooked Rock RC. They drove three hours to give me this amazing RC Hobby Shop Tour plaque. I'm so grateful to them. What an amazing keepsake to commemorate the tour. And on my way out, I ran into one of Northwest Hobbies sponsored Lady Racers. I told her I was on the Hobby Shop Tour with my next stop being in Depot Bay. She mentioned that her shop, Bayside Nutrition, was on the way. So on my way to the next stop, I stopped in at Bayside Nutrition to meet her and her mom, get one of their energy bombs. So if you guys are ever in Newport, Oregon on the coast, definitely check them out. In our next episode, we're headed up Highway 101 to Depot Bay, Oregon to RC 101 and Gifts. If you don't wanna miss the next episode, make sure to subscribe. If you guys wanna help expand the next leg of the Hobby Shop Tour, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or picking up an item from my RC Girl shop. I'll put a link to those in the description box below. I'll see you later.